Joining us now is Julie Bitting with the University of Michigan. She is a PhD and she's going to be speaking Monday at the session on bacterial subcellular dynamics with super resolution. Thank you for joining us today. Sure. What exactly is the significance of this topic? What is it? Give us an overview of, of what your presentation is going to be about. Yeah, well, I think um, there's been a lot of interest lately in super resolution imaging as a technique, a way to use a regular microscope but to see nanometer scale features. Uh, one of the really interesting questions, though, is how do bacteria cells work? These guys are so small that conventional methods just completely failed to elucidate the intercellular structure. So um, this session is going to highlight how we've gone from not knowing anything about inside bacteria over the past 10 years or so to really knowing the dynamics, the structure inside these organisms. And so taking that a, a, a step further, um, how can that be used in practical terms? You know, how is it instigated into more research in other areas? Yeah, well, on Monday we're going to have a triad of really exciting talks. So, uh, these highlight three big applications of the methods. Uh, Zhi Zhao from Johns Hopkins University will start by talking about how she's looked inside E. coli cells at the, um, the mid-plane ring that affects invagination and cell division in bacteria cells. Um, her research has really pushed forward the fundamentals of this structure. Uh, Simon Foster from the University of Sheffield in the UK, he's going to talk about the peptidoglycan wall. There's an enigma there of how this can be strong enough to support the cell, but still flexible enough to allow the cell to grow and divide. And his research is really interesting because he complements the microscopy with also atomic force microscopy. Um, I'll also be talking about how my group at the University of Michigan um, has been trying to go beyond model systems to medical organisms. So we're looking at these good bacteria that live in your gut, the Bacteroidetes species, um, and in particular we've been looking at how sugars are catabolized by these cells, how is the sugar molecule recognized by, by proteins on the cell surface, and then that drives uh, assembly of a protein complex. Um, and overall, this has been really interesting to me because nothing was known biophysically, and so we've really elucidated the first mechanistic model of this protein clustering for catabolism. So if there is one takeaway for the attendees to have with them following your session, what would that be? I think the biggest thing, um, I mean, single molecule microscopy is really exciting anyway. It's a frontier topic in biophysics. It's at the intersection of uh, the two subgroups I was at yesterday, nanoscale biophysics and uh, biological fluorescence. Uh, but really importantly, this application is driving forward biology. And so this synergistic development of bacterial cell biology and super resolution imaging has been super exciting. I can tell you're very excited about yes. it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, congratulations. We'll look forward to the session on Monday. And Perfect. Julie Bitting, thank you for coming in today. Sure.